It is normally best practice to manage your Revit files and maintain your Revit files with the audit and compact commands. And to best execute that file maintenance workflow, you need to follow certain steps with your Revit project file, your RVT file. So we've got a new RVT file for you to do this with, and it's called Audit and Compact. You can download it from the library as usual to follow along with the video. Once you've downloaded it, open it and then close it again. And then when you go to the recent file screen, you should see it. There it is there, Audit and Compact. Like So don't click on the link there, but instead go to Open, where it says Models, and there's Audit and Compact there. You want to go into the Open dialog box because you need to select the file and tick the Audit box there. As soon as you do that, you'll be prompted that this operation can take a long time, especially with big Revit RVT files. The recommended use includes periodic maintenance of large files and preparation for upgrading to a new release. That's a new release of Revit, by the way. Do you want to continue? So you say yes to that. And what will happen now is when you click on Open, it will audit the RVT file. Now, bear in mind, if you're working with a work shared RVT file, make sure you detach it from the central model. And then what you would do is you do your audit and compact and then save that over the central model in the project, the workshed project itself. I don't have a central model, so I don't need to worry about detaching from central. So when I click on open, it takes a little bit longer to open, you'll notice, and that's purely because it's done the audit now. Now you'll notice my project browser looks a little bit wonky, so I'll just click and drag that to the center of the screen and then click and drag back to the right-hand side of the screen and do a little bit of sort of zoom extents there in the drawing area. So we've done the audit. Now, one of the things we do need to do is review and resolve the warnings, as many as possible in your Revit model. Excessive warnings can increase that file size and impact performance of your Revit models, especially if they're work shared. So, Manage tab on the ribbon and we go over here to inquiry and you can see here review warnings. Now there are some warnings in our audit and compact RVT file. If you're in the floor plans and in zero zero ground, which you should be by default anyway, you can see there's some walls here that are kind of looking a bit wonky. So if I now run my inquiry here, that's on the manage tab on the ribbon, you'll see here highlighted walls overlap. So if I expand that out and expand the warnings and tick these both here like that, you can see that I can show them. There's one there. And if I do that and do that, there's one there and there's one there. So this is that one there and that one there. So you can see if I click on show, it'll now say viewing elements. I'll close that. There's one there where it's clashing. And I can also move along and I can delete the checked area if I want to. Now it's up to you. But what we want to do here is tidy them up. So most standard view commands work without exiting the dialog box. So I can zoom in and out still, and what I can do here is I can go to this one, click here, and you notice I can't select the wall. So the trick is close the dialog box. Go to there, that's where our problem is, delete that wall like so. Now, when I go here, notice inquiry, review warnings, there isn't one. But I also need to just check here, there's a wall here that's on top as well. Can you see? Kind of expanded out there, if I select that one, don't really want it. There's no review warning there because it's just a bit of wall attached to the end. But if I click there on delete, that goes, double click on the wheel, zoom extents. We've now reviewed all our warnings. Now, we had two. There can be a lot more than that in your Revit project. So you want to make sure that you get rid of as many as possible. So now what we need to do is we need to do a file save as. So if we go up to here, file and save as, and we're going to save it as a project, and then the dialog box kicks in again. So you can see there we've got audit and compact there, like so. And if I go to options, you'll see here now I can compact the file. Now, I haven't got any open work sets or anything, that's fine, but I don't need to make it a central model after save either because it's not a work shared file. So what we've got there, thumbnail preview, source, active view or sheet, that's fine. We can regenerate if view sheet is not up to date. So we'll do that as well. So what we've done, we've done an audit, We've checked our warnings. We're now going to save the file after we've done all of that. Click on OK. Click on Save. 
and that saves the file. Now you'll notice it takes a little bit of time to do that, so thinking about it. And what it's done there now is compact has compacted the file further than just selecting compact. And if you save it to the same location with the same name, it will not just compact it, but it will compact it twice because you've compacted it once because you've told it to, but because you've done a save as over the original file, it compacts it again. So what you've done there now is you've done a complete audit and compact, checked all the warnings, you should have a smaller file size. Now in a file like this, this isn't very big at all, but on a big, hefty, complex Revit project, that will save you a lot of file space.